Once you're comfortable with the machine itself and you're into the point where you're learning approaches and, and learning the IFR nuances of it, um, like I said before, uh, I think the, the most appropriate thing would be a, to spend a fair amount of time on the ground uh, talking about not only um, the WASP capabilities, but one of my favorite things to do with people is to spend time on the ground in the plane, plugged into a power unit, going through the, with the boxes lit up letting them push the buttons, them rotate the knobs, them getting the feel for the buttonology, how to load things, how to change things. Obviously there's a limit to how much of that you can do because you need to be moving for certain inputs to come into the GPS. But I think that that combined with um, early ground training seminars, whatever the case may be, builds the foundation that's necessary to really build a sturdy house, which is your skill set, on top of that foundation. Don't try to teach it until you know it yourself. And that's what I keep seeing over and over and over is people that are coming to me for training saying, you know, I've been flying this WAS stuff with my instructor and, you know, he sits beside me and we seem to understand what's going on. But after the fact, I don't feel like I really know a lot, a lot more. A complaint that you get occasionally from people is, you know, I've flown this with my instructor who told me he understood all of it, but it was obvious in the airplane he did not. So. I would tell any instructor, when you get in the airplane, don't make a fool out of yourself. Don't make yourself look less educated than you are. You know, we know that you are an educated person. So before you try to teach something, make sure you're fully up to speed on it. Spend a great deal of time learning it because I can assure you that uh, you can't glean every piece of information you need to know about WASP by going out and flying a few approaches with a buddy you have who happens to have a WASP capable airplane and then think that you can impart all of that knowledge on, on to, and I'm sure you can impart the knowledge that you have. The problem is you won't have a sufficient amount of it to answer all the questions that your student is gonna have. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.